Hello, Hunt Chef Nation. Today, we're making one of my absolute favorites from my childhood, my granddad's venison meatloaf, but with a twist. We're gonna put it on a stick, we're gonna wrap it in bacon, we're gonna slide it off onto a grilled flour tortilla, we're gonna top it off with my Stonehouse Tar Heel barbecue mustard, and then some of the uh, vinegar slaw and some roasted jalapenos, and you're not gonna wanna miss this one. If you're watching Hunt Chef on Mountaintop Outdoors, remember, always eat what you kill. So we've got our ground venison here. We're gonna start out, as always, with some fresh ground black pepper. Nice and liberal. We wanna have that backbone of flavor it's gonna give us for sure. Then we've got our kosher salt. Oh my. We wanna get it seasoned really well the whole way through. Fresh chopped garlic. Not too much. Just enough there. Chopped white onions. The same, eh, a little bit more. Now, these are fresh white breadcrumbs, so not toasted at all. We cut the crust off and ran them on the uh, real coarse side of a box grater. This is gonna help us lock in all the juices, keep them inside the meatloaf, because you know this venison is very lean, so any flavor we add to it, we wanna use these breadcrumbs to help us keep those flavors in there. Then, a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, we're gonna drizzle. And one more time. That's that. And then we're gonna give it one farm fresh egg in the center. So now we've got all the ingredients here. We're gonna get this guy mixed up. Bring all those flavors together. Mix those breadcrumbs, the eggs, the seasonings, all really well, all the way through our venison meatloaf. Now you know you can take and add um, fresh pork, wild boar, anything else you'd really like. If you want to add some heat to this, you can fold in some chipotle peppers, some chili peppers. But this is a great base meatloaf recipe. We're going to get this formed up on our skewers, wrapped in bacon, and on the grill. I'm here to tell you about my new line of seasonings. We've got you covered from seafood, to the smoker, to the grill, to roasting, designed specifically for wild game. You can find all these Eat What You Kill seasonings at HuntChef.com. A lot more coming for Hunt Chef Nation. So now you can see we've got one done here, but just form it out, almost like a sausage. You're gonna get it all the way down that stick so it's not too fat, so it cooks quick enough and even enough so that lean venison doesn't get dried out. And to help it along, we've got our bacon here. We're just gonna get it wrapped all the way around down to the end. But now we're ready to go on the grill with our bacon wrapped venison meatloaf skewers. And then I've got these jalapenos. <laughs> that smells good already. We're gonna put them on the back to roast and uh, soften up and sweeten up and get nice and smoky as well. And we're gonna saute some mushrooms and onions to put with these guys. These guys, as soon as the onions start to get a little bit of color and soften up, we're gonna go in at the mushrooms, we're gonna turn our venison meatloaf skewers, and pretty soon we're gonna be eating. We have a little bit of celebrating to do. So we're getting some great color on our onions right now. So we're gonna add our mushrooms. 
and we're gonna mix these guys up and get them sauteing as well. I've just given our meatloaf skewers a quarter of a turn. The bacon's looking right and smelling even better. So it's not gonna be long and we're gonna eat. We're gonna get some salt and pepper on these mushrooms now. A little bit of kosher salt going on there. No bland food, but don't over season it either. You can always add more, but you can't take it away. Fresh pepper, one more stir. We are almost there, but I want you to look at that. That right now, you can just grab it by that stick handle and go straight carnivore on this thing, but I promise we got a better way to eat it. So we're gonna get all four of our venison meatloaf bacon wrap skewers off the grill. All right, and then we've got our roasted jalapenos. Those guys are looking delicious as well. And again, they're just an accompaniment. You can chop them, you can pick them up, eat them just like that. Now we've got our flour tortillas. We're gonna grill these guys up a little bit. So bringing this dish all together, we're gonna use our tortilla. We're gonna lay our meatloaf skewer right in there. We're gonna top it with some of these mushrooms and onions. Oh my, they smell good. We're gonna get some of our pickled vegetables. Now this pickled vegetable is uh, just cider vinegar, sugar, salt, celery salt. And it's absolutely delicious. And now some of my Tar Heel barbecue mustard straight from the Stone House restaurant. And we're gonna take these guys, fold it up, pull that stick right out of there. So today we've made venison meatloaf on a stick, wrapped in bacon, topped with sauteed mushrooms, onions, pickled vegetables, and my Stone House Tar Heel barbecue mustard, all in a grilled tortilla. Wrap that guy up, and you're gonna be a very, very happy outdoorsman. You're watching Hunt Chef on Mountaintop Outdoors. Remember, always eat what you kill. Stay tuned, a lot more coming for Hunt Chef Nation. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and HuntChef.com. I'm here to tell you about my new line of seasonings. We've got you covered from seafood, to the smoker, to the grill, to roasting, designed specifically for wild game. You can find all these Eat What You Kill seasonings at HuntChef.com. A lot more coming for Hunt Chef Nation.